it's yes, off mic and I'm back again for yet another unboxing and I know what you're thinking I said I wasn't gonna buy another airsoft pistol ever again because I have way too many but I bought an Armour Works one a few weeks ago and I absolutely love it and I thought that's it I only need one Armour Works I don't need to buy any more yeah right My gosh, oh my gosh, absolutely without a doubt, without any form of argument, oh my gosh, how gorgeous is this? Here I am people with Armour Works HX2001 or the HX2001, they're at it again. Yes, as you've seen on the armourworks.com website, they've got many different variants of their airsoft custom pistols. As you already know from my first ever Armour Works unboxing, yes, the HX1105, these bad boys come already upgraded, already customized, straight out of the box. Look, before I go through the features, which isn't going to be that dissimilar to all the other airsoft gas blowback pistols, I've got to show you what sets this bad boy apart from the rest. Even sets it apart from the previous Armour Works pistol that I love dearly. But would you look at this, look at the slide. Absolutely stunning. Just, just, just have a look around the pistol for a bit before I say anything else. Right, so obviously the first thing I want to talk to you about is this absolutely stunning slide on the top. I'm loving how the slide looks vented. However, it's not the slide that is vented. It's so deceiving. This is so cool. And this shows you how much detail they have gone into. They could have easily made this part here, all of that right there, you see the gold section. They could have made that part of the actual slide. Now you're looking at it thinking, well, it is part of the slide, but it's not. Even when I start to pull the slide back, watch, watch very carefully. Can you see, look, the actual, that gold part there is moving with the slide. So you would think it is all part of the top slide. No, it's not. That's just the initial action. Look what happens when I pull it back further. It separates, look, it's actually part of the outer barrel. How gorgeous is that? Which also means the sight stays in the same place. The sight is actually part of the outer barrel. How awesome is that? This thing is absolutely, and I'll use this word one last time in this video, gorgeous. So let me just show you the side profile of this piece. 
and I'm absolutely loving the colour scheme that it has. So as you can see here, on the side of the slide it's this nice silvery grey effect right there. This is all metal by the way, the, the entire thing is metal apart from your polymer grips. Right, so you got your silver side right here on the slide, then on top of the slide they could have just made that silver, but no look, they've made it black so that's a really nice contrast. And if you look in the little serrations down the side, same thing, slide silver, but the little serrations or indents going down here are black. And that matches with the upper part of the lower frame. Then if you get to the rear part of the slide, similar design right here. And of course, these serrations right here make it a lot easier for you to rack the slide back. You get a really nice purchase on the pull right there. Now let's go to what's just above it, which is your fiber optic rear sight, which is adjustable, and you've got your front fiber optic sight. Nice. You've got your slide lock and release. You have your ambidextrous thumb safety here and here. You've also got your beaver tail grip safety. And another cool feature is your hammer lock. Look, if you pull the hammer back just halfway, listen for that click. It's now on safety. Yes, it's actually on safety. Now you're thinking, prove it. Okay, watch. Here's the pistol. You can still see the hammer is halfway back. I am going to pull the trigger. Nothing happens, but you're saying, ah, your hand isn't on this grip safety. Put it on there and then pull the trigger. Okay, hand on the grip safety, finger in the trigger and pull. Nothing, absolutely nothing. That's fantastic, so it proves the hammer lock safety works. You've also got your beautiful gold mag release, this awesome looking flared gold magwell, and a very tactical textured polymer grip. And it's got a little bit of stippling right here at the rear. I am absolutely loving the detail that Armourer Works has put into this pistol. Absolutely, I won't use the G word, amazing. Loving the red little accents that you've got all around the pistol. It's got your skeletonized hammer and a very unique looking Lego trigger. I mean, skeletonized trigger. And a scene during the unboxing sequence. This also comes with your little mount plate right here with a couple of screws and your magwell pin. Um, this is fantastic. Obviously this plate right here, you can use this if you want to swap out your optic sight to an RMR style sight. Okay, so let's talk about the mag. The mag itself takes around 29, 30 rounds, fits in there very snugly. And another thing I like about this mag, look, it's even got your little red accent right there on the top to match with the rest of the gun. Absolutely loving the detail they have put into this airsoft pistol. Just look on the inside of that outer barrel right there. Look at that. Nice. And you've even got your standard 45 ACP marking on the outer barrel just there. And look, the nozzle is red, matching the top of the mag. Oh, and of course, it's hop-up adjustable. And you'll never guess what. There's a double barrel version of this bad boy. Now you know what's gonna happen now, don't ya? <laughs> Let's take it to the range. Okay, so here I am at the range. So the first thing I need to do is to fill the mag with some green gas, which you do right here, and uh, put some BBs in. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is an accuracy test with my new target system right there, the Valor target system. And then after that, I'm gonna chrono this and see what results we get. So, let's do this. So, as this is a new setup I have for my range, let me quickly explain what I'm going to do. As you can see there, on this particular target, you've got this silhouette right there of a human body, the upper part. And within that, you've got all these other smaller silhouettes and smaller targets. They've all got their numbers and different things to identify them. And up here, if you can see it, I've got today's date, the approximate distance that I am from this target when I'm doing the accuracy test, and the make and model of the airsoft gun that I'm going to be using 
on this particular target. And then I'm going to basically take a shot at every single smaller target that you can see and try to get in the center. And for you eagle eyes out there, yes I know, I took a second shot at that lower center target. Okay, so let's have a look at the results. Now remember, I was a good 35 plus feet away from the target. Now on the head there, as you can see, I just got just on the outside there. I think that's not bad at all. Considering how small this target area just here is, I would say that's about two and a half inches from side to side. Did a little bit better there, just hitting just outside the center of that target there. Let's go down further and that's where the success started to happen because as you can see there, I hit center mass right there. Go down the bottom and just on the edge of the center there, outside of the center. This one, not as good look, it's right there on the side. Down here, as you can see, look, right there on the number two circle. Uh, I think we've already looked at that one. Look on here, just outside the center right there. So overall, from a distance of about 35 feet plus, I remembering that each of these tiny little targets within this major target, they're only about ooh, two, two to three inches max in size. I think that's pretty good. And I haven't even adjusted the hop up on this pistol. I'm firing at this target using a pistol straight out of the box. Okay, so as you can see there, it's shooting pretty hot and that is just on green gas. I mean, we're looking at FPS up into the 350s, okay? Last one being 348. But I'm guessing it will settle down to somewhere around skirmishable CQB uh, ratings. So let's continue. And do remember, your environment, the temperature of where you are will also have an impact in how your gas airsoft pistol or rifle performs. For example, right now in London, we are experiencing some high summer temperatures. So all these sort of gas guns and rifles, they work perfectly. And as you saw in the initial chrono test, the FPS ratings was way high. And then it started to settle down into your 330s as the mag gets colder and colder. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bit of rapid firing because, you know, these Armourer Works pistols are supposed to be fully upgraded out of the box, so they are actually competition ready. You may have to just retweak the uh, hop up or so, but yeah, so let's see how responsive the trigger is. So uh, here goes. Nice. Off mic and boy do I approve this Armour Works HX2001.
Okay, so do you think it's all pros and no cons with this Armourer Works HX 2001? Well, I pride myself on being honest and as honest as I can possibly be, and I'll tell you this. I absolutely love this Armourer Works HX 2001. I give it 10 out of 10 for looks, that's my personal opinion. For performance, nine out of 10. And let me tell you why I won't give it 10 out of 10 right now, because one, I need to keep using this bad boy, take it to a few games and test it out fully. And then I can give a true and accurate opinion on this. Secondly, when I first got this out of the box, the slide after about four shots, now remember, full mag, yeah, so there's around 28, 29 or 30 BBs in the mag, after about the fourth shot, the slide locked back as if the mag was empty. Now, that only happened once and it didn't happen again. So maybe it needs to, you know, you're gonna wear it in a bit and use it a few times, or I may have a solution for that right away. All of these airsoft pistols seem to always have this made in Taiwan sticker right there on your slide lock release mechanism. It could have been that. That could have interfered with the cycling of the slide. Also, whilst I was firing, maybe when I was holding the pistol, my thumb could have, I'm not saying it did, my thumb could have pushed this slide lock release mechanism right there up, hence making it catch onto the slide. Who knows? But I will keep using this, I will keep testing it out, but so far, so good, it hasn't happened twice, and I'm absolutely loving this pistol. Let go!